Hello friends. <coughs> Today again taken the problems. It's a very conceptual problems here. The CSIR need June sixteen question number ninety three and something. That is again taken the differential equation problems and related to the topic of strom strom Lewis Lewis problems. So the uh, is there cons conceptual problems here? If our concept again we are that uh, type of problems is related to the eigen's value and eigen function this is a very important come to the examinations so that only is a basic concept you uh, apply here then we get the answers so please first of uh, first of all like and share to the friends subscribe my channel and so on so next come to the problems here so here given is problem that y double dash something so first we write down that problem here is given y double dash uh, 1 plus x y lambda y so apply the here uh, using here is a strom lewis problems here so that term problem friends that term suppose you neglect this neglect this so neglect this so what is we get neglect this so minus y double dash equal to lambda y otherwise transfer left hand side otherwise cat mean it a uh, one plus lambda y equal to zero that is term level is problems and y of zero equal to y of one equal to zero that is conditions term level using of this so that that term neglected only using of this is find out the eigen value here up now cases arise with the friends case first if lambda equal to 0 suppose first case if lambda equal to 0 how much we get here so we get y double dash equal to 0 simplify y equal to y of x equal to c1 x plus c2 apply the boundary conditions y of 0 equal to 0 so y of 0 equal to 0 suppose that is 1 so here c2 0 and y of 1 equal to 0 so y of 1 equal to 0 so that case here is also c1 equal to 0 it means y of x equal to 0 so which is trivial solution trivial solution but so <coughs> lambda equal to 0 is not Eigen's value. value. So that which is not taken. Next case 2. If lambda equal to mu square. Suppose is lambda equal to mu square. So y double dash plus mu square y equal to 0. Uh, simplify then we get this is suppose equation number 3 so simplify and we get solutions y of x up generally if you simplify karlo, that we get answers so c1 cos of mu x plus c2 sin of mu x that is an solution this is 4 solution of 3 so which is 4 next uh, find out apply the boundary conditions and uh, simplify so apply boundary conditions and check out y of 0 first y of 0 equal to 0 so apply here so in that case y of 0 means 0 equal to c1 cos of 0 plus c2 sin of 0 so that term 0 it means c1 equal to 0 next similarly y of 1 equal to 0 so c1 cos of 1 plus c2 sin of 1 sin of mu and here is also mu so that case c1 is 0 means that term is 0 so c2 sin of mu equal to 0 so c2 is not equal to 0 if taken 0 c2 is taken 0 so what is the effect c1 0 c2 0 then again we get 
find out the y as y of x is zero. So that case c two do not take in zero. This means c two zero नहीं होगा क्योंकि यदि आपने c two equal to zero put up किया तो क्या result मिलेगा c two zero और c one भी zero हो जाएगा. So that case simple y x equal to zero. So which is the again we get the trivial solution. So that case c two not equal to zero. So here sin of mu equal to zero. So sin sin of mu equal to sin of n pi. Otherwise mu is equal to n pi. Mu equal to n pi. Otherwise so the when mu equal to n pi. So what is the lambda? Mu equal n pi. So lambda equal to mu square. So lambda is equal to n square pi square. Next, go to the case three. So, ab friend, case three में भी जाएंगे तो we get y of x equal to zero and so on. Simplify, but here, so first check it that problems. What is your answer? Lambda equal to n square and pi square and x belongs to something. X belongs to zero to one. And n is equal to zero, one, two, three, up to something. Here. Now go to the option lambda first. For all lambda less for all lambda less than zero. Okay. What is the possibilities? Hai? Less than zero here. Put some n equal to zero and equal to one. So we get lambda equal to pi square and so on. That is so it means for all value of lambda equal less than zero. That is wrong. Next. For all value of or uh, for all lambda belongs to zero one is also wrong because is here pi square is more than something so not that is for all value lambda not belongs to this lambda की सभी value zero one के बीच में नहीं that is wrong next for some value of lambda belongs to zero one it is correct because two to infinity with two to infinity that anything is find out doesn't we get something That what is the for some value, for some value that is we get the infinites. So third option is correct. Next for is the countable. So lambda eigen value here it means here that is a countable. So for countable number of lambdas. So that is a general observation here method. So we'll find out the answer. Suppose that we can here apply the case third, but this is not requires here case third. Is lambda equal to minus of mu square? So minus of mu square. So y double dash minus of mu square equal to mu square y zero. So find out y of x is equal to c one e raised to mu x plus c two e raised to minus mu x. Now apply conditions. Apply boundary condition. Boundary. Conditions. So apply the boundary condition. We get this c one zero and c two zero. It means that case here y of x equal to zero. So it means that is also which is not taken the eigen's function because y equal to zero. And question we already given that that is here non-trivial so non-trivial solution, non-zero solution means non-trivial solution. So that method. So take care. Strum Lewis problem. So here they thoda confuse and create karni ke that term is already given. So that means get to this and simplify the Strum Lewis problems and we get the answers. So thank you. Bye bye.